So DD India's Shubhendu Ghosh is closely following the electoral trail in the United States. Let's see what he has for us. We are in New York next to the Central Park. These beautiful horse carts that you see uh, behind me uh, take you around the Central Park for a fee. Let's turn to uh, the newspapers of the day and see what's making news as far as the elections are concerned. New York Times first. Uh, the front page talks about how the battle is fierce and for a sliver of pie and undecided votes. The election, uh, the paper says, could hinge on people who aren't super political. And this too in uh, the swing states in particular. Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump are carrying out virtual house-to-house -house hunt for final few voters that are still up for grabs, guided by months of painstaking research about these uh, sort of elusive uh, voters. Uh, inside of Delaware headquarters, uh, Ms. Harris's campaign, analysts have spent some 18 months uh, curating a list of which television shows and podcasts voter consume in the battleground states, so in order to reach the voters through those media uh, channels. Uh, meanwhile, uh, at Mr. Trump's headquarters in South Florida, his team recently refreshed the model of battleground electorate and found that about 5% of the voters were still undecided. So uh, voters up for grabs in the last uh, couple of weeks. We turn to another article which uh, is titled State of the Race. The contest has tightened to an extent that even pollsters are finding it difficult uh, to keep up. And New York Times says with about a couple of uh, weeks to go, Kamala Harris and Donald Trump are essentially tied with neither candidate ahead by even a single point in New York Times polling average of the five critical battleground states. These are Pennsylvania, Michigan, uh, Nevada, Wisconsin and North Carolina. So again, uh, a reference to the manner in which it's going to be a cracker of a contest as far as uh, who the next president is going to be. In the same uh, newspaper, I'm turning to another article, uh, there's a massive fundraising also takes place uh, for these uh, crucial elections. But we see Kamala Harris having a clear edge in this regard. The article uh, headline reads, Harris sets a fundraising record forging a vast gap with Donald Trump. Also gives out data. Some $378, $378 million, Kamala Harris's campaign and his allied party committee said they raised that, that amount in September alone. Uh, meanwhile, in the same time period, uh, Donald Trump's campaign and allied groups raised $160 million in September. Uh, it also goes on to say that Kamala Harris spent most of this money uh, through uh, advertisement uh, and also reaching out to the undecided voters. Meanwhile, uh, Donald Trump, while uh, advertising his candidature, also had to uh, pay attention to fundraising in the last uh, few days. So those were some of the highlights uh, as uh, they're appearing in the New York Times today.